John Root. Hello, welcome to another exciting episode of Rave Art and Culture, where we bring to you the world of art and cultural values across Nigeria and beyond. My name is Lanre Adetiwura, the only one of Rave TV. That's how we roll. We keep rolling and we can't stop rolling. There's something quite disturbing about the Nigerian society today, talking about tribalism, nepotism, you know, underemployment and all you can target. But I tell you, there is a play that can actually bring about answers to those problems that we see as problems. They're just challenges that we can actually overcome. Talking about unity, that's the only answer to all of this. If we unite, we will definitely get to resolve all of the conflicts going on in our society. I will bring to you the play written by Femi Oshofison, Farewell to a Cannibal Rage. Yeah, a lot of us read that book a long time ago, but let's see how Theatre Centric brings this to us in a stage production at the Green Light Festival 2016, as directed by Tony B. We'll be back after we see a part of this play. Don't go nowhere, we'll be back. <laughs>
Akobi, our happiness is here and now. Where you stand, where I can reach you. Nothing can take that away. Nothing. Nothing except the past. Except memories which flinch past and will not die. I just understand. You see, come. You and I have been woven like threads into the web of eggs. And blood is our only heritage. Your dead father and mine, with their lives, move the tedious patterns. And we, the poor children, are internally doomed like two distant rivers to flow apart and never meet. Your words are a sudden mystery to me. Explain to me. All right, come. From him comes my orders, and this Sorry. strange story that has killed our aspirations. Shall I begin? I am dying to hear you, Akobi. Yesterday, on our arrival home, I hastened to announce my intention. He listened, but nothing was said then. Either his assent or disapproval. But of his consent, I had no doubt since never before that my wishes had been refused. But this morning, was done. I was still asleep when my uncle came to Look at what happened. in the past before now? No, Adigo. This time, my words are like the angel of an axe. Solid. If I said I loved before, I lied, for I have just known what love is. And her name is Olabisi. I want to marry her, and I want your consent, my dear uncle, my father. My consent? Yes. So, you disapprove of him? No, mother! Don't run away! You need to tell me why you think my choice is wrong. Eh? Is it not enough that your mother is a person? Is it not enough that I love my mother? Even when Baba Soye himself has practiced against this man. Baba Soye? Eh? Big Baba Lao? When you slept yesterday night, I went to him. He consulted him. And what did the father say? Goodbye, Baba! It is Is 
it's just somehow difficult that one who talks so intelligently who had so foolish. So you think it's foolish to that I should marry the man I love? Yeah. If what your mother told me is true, then the problem is not in your loving, but in your choice. Love is not a matter of choice. Uh, but a matter of faith. Again, I did not choose him. <laughs> and my heart beat fast as the sound of his voice. Yeah. <laughs> and I was lost in his love. <laughs> Baba, what do you have against him? Is a woman an enemy to women love? Uh, yes. <laughs> when human love is enemy to man itself. Listen to me. Listen. Let's get to hear from the artist what they felt about the play, how easy was it to put this play together, and of course, let's know how they feel interpreting their roles in this play. We'll be back after that. My name is Lanko Jolawali. I'm an actor, uh, a dancer. I write scripts. and um... Um, Farewell to the Cannibal Rage. Um, how challenging was your role, and what role did you play in it? Um, I played um, Akonji. It was quite... Um, it was stressful, but I enjoyed the experience uh, because I picked up the script um, barely three weeks, and um, I had to, you know, buckle up and um, get back to my usual self. Yeah, my name is Abib Olatunde Ayodeji. I'm known as Awoko. Well, I play the role of uh, Adegu. Duaro, really, I play the second role, uh, Babatsoye, you know, the priest. So Adegu is an uncle to Akonbi, the central character, you know, in the play, and Bapasoye, you know, the sage. Yeah, my name is um, Joseph Obodo, popularly called Joe Flo or Joey. Yeah, I played um, the narrator and also Badamosi. Yeah, you know, the narrator, um, the play is like um, more, more of a rehearsal, you know. If you, if you watched uh, closely, you see that uh, probably there was no time for people to go backstage and then come back for, you know, their cue. Everything took place on stage. 
that's to show that um, the the um, actors and actresses were selected on the stage and they played also on the stage. And for Badamosi, Badamosi and Fatai are musician friends, uh, you know. So they they, all, all, they only came to you know um, to make the stage um, livelier, like on a lighter mood, just to you know make the audience unwind a bit, just to re re relax their nerves, you know, from Olabisis uh, um, and um, Akobis um, parts. I am Jide Adeyemi. I am the lead drummer. At every point in time that the dances are coming up, I have to punctuate the dance. And aside that, I create the background music for the play because, you know, if it's all dialogue, 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 it gets so boring that people might be sleeping and all. But because of the music that comes underneath, people enjoy it more. So I give the flow of the rhythm to the acts or the dialogue that is going on. And sometimes if you notice that sometimes a, a, a line will go and then the actions that follows, I punctuate with my drums, with my rhythm. So that actually brings the audience back to life. So if at all you are being carried away with the dialogue and, uh, and then there is need for us to bring you back to the play, then at that particular point in time, I play and then you come up again and say, okay, then you act back to the play. My name is Bukola Thomas. I would say it tells us more about how powerful love is, irrespective of all odds, all trials, all rivalries. And it made me remember then when I was on stage because I'm, I would say I'm an old member of Theatre Centric and still a member, irrespective of the fact that I've not joined them to play. But from the movie, I, from the stage play I watched today, I learned one thing, that no matter the hatred, the hula balloons, love will always supersede every other thing. Yes, my name is um, Tony Brimer. I play the role of Akombi, the son to a dead father who is um, Atonda. And um, Atonda is the brother to Adigun, who was um, the one who raised me up. My name is um, Anthony Olua B. Olua Damilola Boye, the green light. So, um, farewell to the Carnival Rage. Tell us, basically the festival, the challenges you faced organizing this great festival and the play production tonight. Challenges. Challenges are things we see every day. Um, basically, you know, venues, one of the greatest problem that we have. We're supposed to be at one of the best all in Lagos in Nigeria. We're even supposed to be somewhere a bit better than here, but fine, this is where we are. And I think that's one of the greatest challenges um, you can talk about. Because if you give an artist the venue, just say that is the venue, I think the show is done. So I, I think venue is our major challenge. I mean, that's what we have as a problem here. Our race, our success, our plays, our best. Our stories are told in different ways. They are inscribed in our art. They are visible in our culture. Documenting them might be a problem, but not when you 